What's up, YouTube? This is Brim52. I quickly realized that I already recorded this intro, but my audio wasn't playing. Anyways, I quickly realized this afternoon that uh, I haven't made a reaction video in over a year, so today we're going to be doing something a little bit fun that I came up with a couple weeks ago, which is me reacting to my older artwork. Uh, there's two videos that prominently show my old art. The first would be Sketchbook Tour, which we'll be watching first, uh, where I go through my old sketchbook, obviously. And then uh, my 400 subscriber special, where I go through my portfolio for Burger T. Uh, maybe we'll find some keepers. Probably it's just going to be a bunch of cringy old drawings that uh, are nothing compared to the great improvement I've done since then. Uh, but anyways, let's get going. Also, I went to get contacts today. I'm not wearing them right now, obviously, but if you caught me 30 minutes ago, you would have seen me. Without my glasses, seeing everything peachy keen, which is quite exciting. Uh, I love how I have the choice to wear my glasses or not now. So, that's pretty cool. Anyway, let's get to the video. Uh, disclaimer. This video's really old. If you didn't gather that already. It's very, very old. My voice is much, much higher. And, uh, just treat that as such. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Alright, there it goes. So, let's get some pillows out of here. This is unbearable yeah, to watch. Alright. Story time with Rebby 2. Alright. So, the first page. Oh, wow. Well, oh, wow. Fudge. Oh, yeah. Dude, this was so cool. I was in DI uh, in my youth, and I totally did my own costume designs. This is kind of cool. Um, we did a parody of medieval stuff with sodas. I was Squire Sprite. It's a freaking awesome name if you ask me. Anyway. Squire Sprite design. This was kind of like a DI thing that I was working on. Uh, I failed on the hair. You did fail on the hair. Fail. We're gonna move on. <laughs> Video games down. We are going to move on from this page. Uh, Alright. That's pathetic. That uh, nose is god awful. Mm, that eye is kind of bad as well. I thought it was a pro at eyes. YouTube. The game theorists. The game. Oh my god, this was back when PewDiePie had 40 million subscribers. Number five. That was like 2015 16. Number four, the game theorists. I think this is 2016. Okay, that's Markiplier. We're gonna move on. Last. Here's the comp. Of the mom. He's an awesome block for art class. Here That's a wash. Okay. This is kind of good. I kind of almost Here's like this. I just. I don't like this. I could definitely do a better one nowadays. Should I do that? I'll do a video of me doing one of those, but better. Nowadays. Here's an eyeball. Oh god, that's awful. Realism I did. I don't like it too much. There yeah. are eyeballs better than a sketchbook. Oh great. I get to know the sketchbook's full of eyeballs. Uh, here's purple guy from Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> uh, I forgot about that. I forgot that's a. Uh, that's something that I used to. Mm. <laughs> yeah, there's probably a lot of Five Nights at Freddy's stuff in this now that I'm thinking about it. I was head over heels for that. Okay. Alright, let's continue. Oh. Awesome, Freddy Fazbear. I really like this. Oh, wow, that's awesome, bro. <laughs> Amazing. Here's a little spring trap, like. That's. Thing in the bottom. Okay. Here's the face eaters from a comic book series I've been wanting to do called Ninja. Oh, Ninja? Fortnite Ninja? That's crazy. <laughs> Here's the first page to Ninja. Oh, Fun nice. tree for Boy Scouts. Another Fun tree for Boy Scouts. Who the frick is that? Oh, no. Uh, 
Is this is really old, isn't it? I'm just now realizing how old this is. There's a link between worlds. Wait, who is this? That's actually kind of good. This one. This is the Legend of Zelda. That is good. I love that one. I was thinking it over. It's well done. Here's like, here's like a Link thing. Here's a realism for Link. Realism, you say? Turned out great for Ninja again, but his legs get smaller as he goes down. He's like. His legs do get much Here's like a realism that I failed on because I made his eyes way, way too big. This one, I just did it recently. Long, 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 long time ago. 53 years of Doctor Who, Happy New Year. This is not done yet. Yeah, this is 2016. Okay, I can't complain. Here's some notes for math. Notes for math. I what a great inclusion to the sketchbook. Bro, 52. Face, um. That is all wrong. That is completely wrong. Oh god, I can't look at that. That nose is too small and the head's too wide. Oh! Oh, this is so cool. Compared to the rest of the bunch. I like this My one. old Zelda fan made game like characters. Here's like some uh, Zelda bosses that I had in mind. We got Treagle. Treagle, I love Treagle. Classic. Oh my god, a I classic. The beast. I should redo those. Oh my god. I have great ideas now. For what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna remake all of these. And I'm also gonna Yellow. do one of the gay collages again. Uh, Big Poe. Po. Interesting design for Big Poe. Giant worm. Uh, that's the master hand. Uh, Ganem's. Wait, is that? I said master hand? That's. Those are wall masters and. Floor masters, I believe? I don't know. What's that? I know one of them's a wall master. Uh, ghost. Ganon's ghost. And then, I'm not sure what that is. Ganon's puppet, and then Ganon ghost. Castle of Elura. Or El Elura. That is Hyrule backwards. How creative. Uh, uh, how I made that? Hyrule. Get it? Ha -ha. Get it? And Okay, let's get Mabel. I'm gonna go back and fix that. I love the design for this one. I love it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I may do a video. Ooh. This is really good. Video on how I draw um my cartoon characters. This is Bill Cipher. I remember I was gonna remake the entire sketchbook or journal, whatever it's called. Oh my god, this, this is, is like great. a complete copy of a journal. Right. I looked at a uh, a bunch of clips from the the book in the middle of the TV show, and I completely copied it. Oh, dude, these are a couple pages. They're so good. Ghosts. And the drawing of the ghost. Whoa. And here's the one and only Bill Cipher. I love this one. It's great. That's kind of good. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was a cursed image we just witnessed. Should we continue? Battle Link. Oh, wow, Battle I Link. Him. You love him. Lots of blank. Pages. Here's a little kawaii. Back to kawaii. Did I just use kawaii unironically? Cause that's my. Did I just use the word kawaii at all? I use the name on this this their channel here. Lots and lots of empty notes. Oh, entertainment notes. A couple words. A sword. Mm. Cool <gasps> Whoa! What the frick? This is not the thing. This is not. Oh my god! I had a cool character for a, a, a comic book I was gonna do at one point. I was obsessed with it for months and months and months. Four point. I just made it myself. What an egotist! Point. You couldn't make a cool character. A sword. A sword. Cool. Sh oh. My gray jacket and. Fingerless gloves. Looks Fingerless cool. gloves. <laughs> this is before Sans became a meme. And I actually, unironically, drew Sans. Because this is when Undertale first came out. I didn't like it. A friend of mine liked it. And I thought Sans looked cool. It's actually better than... Sans I've drawn nowadays. That's so interesting. I mean, it's well done, but it's kind of funny that it exists. I like him. 
I like this drawing. Oh wow, look at my shoes. Dang, I actually you can't see it. Look at those pimpin' shoes. Dang. And those socks too. Ooh. God. God help me. And to finish it off, we have the Legend of Zelda. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank I you. Hope you enjoyed it. What's my old outro? See you in my next video. Bye guys. Tall girl is worse than you can imagine. Thank you, Farrah Cynical. Thank you. Alright. Now let's go find one where I actually have some decent stuff, I'd imagine. Here it is. 400 subscribers special. Room tour and portfolio tour. We're gonna watch the 19 minutes. Jesus. Alright. What a great opening frame. What's up, YouTube? This is Brub52, and thank you for 400 subscribers. I'm so thank red. Subscriber special. I was a little bit... Subscribers, thanks, good. My, um, it was called Insecurities of an 8th Grader, but I talked about high school and it. Insecurities of an 8th Grader. By the way, I'm recording this on my iPhone 7, so the audio is gonna be really quiet compared to my other videos. Great. Who anyway. pimping kicks, dude. Let's see, this is my bed. Crossing the legs, that's the Chad pose. It's beautiful. But, uh, that's a really nice bed. I have a, I have a beta bed compared to that one. That was a like a king size pull out on the couch. Wow. It's crazy to imagine this is the exact same room. It looks so different. Man. Crazy. It looks better before, I'm gonna be honest. I mean the room looks great now, but it Right, okay, let's do down there. there. Down the sleeve. Right pillow. Left pillow. There's my YouTube. Oh yeah, that one poster that I made. That's okay. I kind of freaked it up with all that crap at the bottom. That top looks great. Poster, which I meant to put on my cardboard over there, but it I lost. Oh yeah, the cardboard. Dude, that was so it's right here now. Also it's crazy. Got the other one right. Do I still have that plushie? It's over there, I think. Pajamas that I have neatly there. Whenever I do not do that anymore. I don't even change my pajamas. I just sleep in my underwear. You of me as a seven year old or something. And then we've got my PC here, my Xbox One here. This is the Elgato cord, runs into the Elgato, which is on top of here. Hiding in there. And there's also got the power block for the Xbox Turtle Beach sticker, which that I That was got. so claustrophobic. Chopping really fast. Um, I have no idea that how that wasn't anyway, an electrical kind of hazard. Art. Like, at all. All right, so. There's so much check crammed in that one little cabinet. I'm so surprised nothing overheated or like freaked out or anything. All right, first one. Gonna place them all on the ground over here. Composition and a really nice shot at the very end, which is gonna be the thumbnail probably. I can figure out how I'm gonna do that. But we have. This is just a. It's a still line. Um. This is a wine. I don't know how I feel about this one. It's like a bowl of some sort. I kind of like it. I don't like the gray background as much. I think it's a little bit jarring from the distinction between the foreground and the background. I think the edges where those meet that aren't the table of those objects. Just from... Sorry. Just from my paint job painting this. I think that is a little bit of a yikes. I do like the shading though. I think the horse is really good. Uh, the other two I can live without, I guess. Then, I really uh, like the horse, the antlers, and shading for that are well done. Which is a white table with, like, medium value. And then this is actually... Medium value. Wow, what a phrase. I hate those words. Medium value. Low value, high value, whatever the frick that means. Paint. Just say gray. <laughs> He's so realistic. It's beautiful. I wish you guys could see it in real life. It's amazing. The Booker T lingo. I myself on God. That one. I had problems. Okay, so here are... Three these are kind of which almost which good. Design. Actually, wait, no, these are good. I like these. Okay, Copic marker self portraits. So this one's kind of a normal color. It's me with a mad face. This one's a, like a. I also got I don't I don't believe you or whatever. Confused face. This is with um. Kind of primary colors, I guess. And then this one is just like, inverted color, just random colors, that I wanted to be different than everything else. So yeah, that one. Hmm. There. I like that. I like the middle one a lot. I, my head is too big in some of them. All right. 
Now we actually have to get Plus, my hair back then was just ugly. Look at this. Look how much stuff's in there. Mm. Oh, okay. All mad at anything. And everything. And anything. Okay, so here's another story. English is my first language, if you didn't know. But. Mm. Nice view of the carpet. It's it's really it's really nice. I mean I don't know. I'm still working out some bugs with it, some stuff. Yeah, some bugs with it meaning the head is like twice the size of his body. And also it just looks bad in general. I don't know. I'm too lazy to think of critiques. This is just bad. I don't like it. So far it looks really cool. The shading is alright. I hate that the head's too big. That really bugs me about my old stuff. This little figure with the where the head's bigger than the body because yeah, I kind of screwed up there a little bit. You did, but not really. So. Yeah, you did. No, I drastically. Like my red sweater that I wear in one of my videos. Good for you. Not the one I'm wearing right now. This is I got this for Christmas. That right. sweater is very uncomfortable this nowadays. This is. My but it looks nice, so whatever. This is a still life of outside the studio, and this is. I like, um, oh, what is that called? Indie ink. I love doing indie ink stuff. I think it's a lot of fun. I still have an indie ink set in my Booker T art kit, whatever it's called. Uh, I love doing indie ink. I should do another one. I don't know what I would do. I usually just stick to pencil nowadays. I don't expand myself. I'm so lazy. Anyway, I don't even know if that indie ink would work. It's like so old. This is the studio itself. It's just the cars. Light Rock Skate right there. Which is closed. Rest in peace. If you guys are in Dallas watching this. And then, um, studio arts right there, and there's sign to go under skate, so, basically... Honestly, it's okay. Down here, it's kind of wonky, but I, I like this is a side view. This is a more the feel of it. Most of the shading is well done. I like the night sky thing going on. What are we gonna pull out next? What are we gonna pull out next? Alright. Another one I was still working on. I'm almost done with. We have a watercolor. It's a still life watercolor. This is good. I don't watercolor. It's acrylic. Black and white acrylic. This is good. Acrylic paint over there is for. But it, it's this is probably the best one yet. Really nice. Here's a fish. You got a sailboat over there. You probably can't recognize it. A big vase. Um, the composition on this one starfish. is a little bit appallingly great. I severely enjoy this one. Podium in which the fish is standing on. I really like it. I can't. It's a, that's a I can't shell, actually. Orchestra. Uh, I can't articulate rather how much I love this one. So this is by one. far the best one. Time for the next by far. one, which is gonna be this one. Ew. I kind of have a. This is the first one I did. A couple pre-picked out. Just ones I like to get out of the way. But this is one I don't like that much. I do not like this whatsoever. Like at all. This is so definitely the worst one yet. Like, well, this is one that I made when I first came in. Like, this is the, like, one of the first ones I ever did. Look so at the gla- Ugh, oh, this is ugly. It's got a lot of room for improvement, but... Don't say room for improvement. Just say it's awful. It shows how much I've progressed. Why was I so optimistic back in the day? Just say it's god-awful. Don't waste my time. For this. Whatever, I'm sorry for being... Thanks, to If you go up back and watch the videos in, like, June and July... That long hair. That's yeah. basically around the time I did this one. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I spent six months at the studio learning art in eighth grade. God. That is why I have so many academic problems. And that was around when I started to go downhill. This kind of marked the time where I was like, my hobbies take precedence over academics which is something that i still believe like even in life i'm not gonna waste my time doing stupid math problems like i'll do enough to get by but it's not some i'm not gonna do work that i'm proud of if i hate the work so i just spend my resources focusing on what i want to do so i'll be prepared and that's kind of been <clears throat> exploited to a certain degree but i I stand by it in my artwork, and I, I think it was a, this was a good point in my life, but not a good point in my life for academics. Anyway, moving on. This one I did like a month ago, but um, this is watercolor, this is continuous line, this whole. 
Yes. This is all just continuous line. Except for the hair, because you totally cheated. This is like my second day bit, and this is all watercolor on top of it. I hate this. I can't look at it for one more second. Uh, Sorry if you couldn't tell. But the next one is this figure drawing. Of one of These are okay. Old, um, this is where I adopted the kind of sticker format where I cut out stuff. Like all the transparent whatever. Uh, it's uh, it's decent. This is middle third. As quick as possible. This is in this one. It's thirty minutes with a uh, ebony pencil. So yeah. Ebony pencil. Why am I wearing gloves? Ew. Ew. I'm so narcissistic. We've already gone through it. Yes. You're extremely narcissistic. Look at this. What are, I, I remember these are lyrics. Oh no, that's a poem. And at the top, it's lyrics. This is okay, I don't like the face. Obviously. That face is way too narrow, and the hair is way too high. And there's no ears. But it's it's kind of like cartoonish, so I understand that it's cartoonish. It looks a little bit different. I appreciate its uniqueness, but I still despise it. This is a Copic marker piece. It's Copic marker. Uh, I like the Copic marker. Over there on the table, right before, in that cup. I'm pretty good with Copics. But this is actually Copic marker in the foreground with the three little circles, kind of like in the style of this acrylic paint we got. It is exactly like in the style of this. Way up there, you probably can't see it, and I don't care. Move up there. Closer. <laughs> nice. But in the background, this side of the background, it's text. So this is this. Is really, text. I didn't notice. I, I just came up with, but this is actually a poem I wrote this year in eighth grade. Rather, last really, year. I didn't know that. I thought it was just a random poem I found. Twenty sixteen. There's the title for the poem. Painted pathways. Painted and pathways. This is actually, the lyrics to Sister Location. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I figured. So, I've been in trails off. I've been trying for. So long to sing you, and it cuts off there. But this background. All right, so I'm going to show you something different every day. So you hear what I have to say. And it's really. 43k views, by the way. One day, slow the game down just a little bit, we'll overtake that in views. And that'll be the day my career will finally be complete. Why are you streaming? Uh. I don't know, my continuous line was so weak. Eh, this is okay. Is still life in Scrapbook paint. Still life. It's really God, I must have had, like, dyslexia. I couldn't draw straight lines. Oh, uh, watch out. Do not enter recording in progress. Nice. Um, Man, I was so ingenuous. Right so it's pretty, pretty dang realistic and pretty not dang realistic at the same time. Yes, I agree. Entirely. Why would you bump the best one? Fix it. Cut. Thank you. Why is this taking so long? There we go. So this is another Copic marker piece. Ah, this one's good. I like how minimalist it is. Like the white background, the plain white background, the Copic's beautiful. And it's actually quite well drawn. So this is pretty good. I still like the other one better, but this is the second best one. Oh, and the primary colors are beautiful as well. Stop singing. This is ugly. I used the wrong marker for half of this, so all the lines are extremely thick. I don't like it. Let's skip it. There's no one duck. Well, that's where I used to there for two. That's where I. My building is big. Cool, cool, cool. Next one. Cool, cool, cool. These are good. I actually really adore these. I adore both of them. I like my style of color pencil. A lot of people like to blend extraneously with color pencil, which is something that I respect entirely. I do minimalist blending. I just blend different colors of the same shade. I, I, didn't, I blend different shades of the same color together, and then maybe I'll throw in like a complementary color or something like that in there. I love the primary colors for these. I love, love, love it. These are beautiful. Two color pencils. It's just like a square four by four, whatever you want to say. Uh, this is an interior. This one is so good. This room. There yes. Used to be a table what? You don't say, bruh. Are there any more? 
but this is the door. That's the door to the bathroom. That and that. Then this is that door right there. And so that beautiful. Leads into the That's so beautiful. Do -do. Do -do. Sorry, this was taking so long, guys. Next one is gonna be this cardboard. Still life. No, there's no life. No, there's no life. Oh, no. Ew. Why did I always draw my head so narrow? It's like heads are not like that in real life. Look. Yeah, I'm gonna face the camera. Look. This head goes this way. I mean, I guess the problem is the head's too tall and the neck is kind of awkward. But, yeah. This this or I guess, yeah, because that jacket was a little bit weird. Whatever, it looks dumb. Cut out this part. And then the background's kind of like broken up, but it's really cool design how that works. And then I cut some of my hair out. Looks really dang cool. Lies and slander. And hip the kids more than Why? Why do I make these noises? Why do I make these noises in my old videos? Okay, I'm running out of space to put this stuff. I kind of want to keep it in one row so I can do a really nice comp composition shot at the end. But this, is this is good. This is a good one too. Third best one. Or maybe even second best one. This is really well done. You can see the effort in this one a lot. The floor took forever. God. I love the indie ink in this one. And this is also a continuous line. Which is great. This is the best continuous line yet. I love the attention to detail. And just all the cabinets. I love the tile. I love the composition in general. I love the blimp on the left side. This is beautiful. Studio. This is a bathroom. Shelves. Oh yeah, and this is of the studio. That's kind of where this was reflected in a mirror. That one, but that's kind of like see this thing. That's the same. Thing. I'm bored. Let's move on. It's really dang cool, man. Really dang cool. I'm getting. I have really big pieces. I can't put them on the edge right here because I guess so many. All right, so this is like okay. kept a long way. I struggled this one for a while. This was like the first color pencil we did. I uh, I was struggling with blending. I didn't find it to work. Everyone else's was beautiful. Uh, I believe we were supposed to use primary colors for this one. I don't know. Uh, I was struggling with this one. I hate how all of these colors are super sharp because I was like, you know what? Frick it. I just want these sharp colors in color pencil. I didn't really understand how color pencil works. I just kind of treated it like pencil. But whatever. This one's... I remember how tough this one was, so I'm not going to put it on myself. But it's, it's not good. Of the it's not good. Spoilers. This is like a little metal thing. This is the door in. These are a bunch of like canvases set up on the wall. Outside this little like water catcher thing above. A railing. A bunch of weeds. And then the side of the studio. So the studio, fun fact, actually used to be a water burger a long time ago. Yes. Not a long time ago. It was kind of recently. But yeah. Yeah. Okay, so... These are the only two left. Only two. And these yep. are charcoal, I believe. Alright, these are the last two. They're both charcoal. And these are I believe one of these was good and the other was not so good. One of these is actually my favorite, actually. Oh, your favorite. I actually have to move. Actually, actually, have to actually, actually. Actually. Shut up. Actually. Just this stop talking, favorite. please. It's a, a charcoal, so that's why I have to keep it wrapped up. But it's so cool. I don't want to spoil it while I'm taking it down. I don't remember if this one is actually oh, good or cool. not. I actually did it at school, not at the studio. School. But it's a charcoal paper. Oh. And it's so cool looking. Paper. Right? This is well done. This one is quite well. This is the fourth best one, at least. I mean, I mean. Best being the acrylic black and white. The second being the contour uh, coping marker one. And then the third being the continuous line uh, pen with India ink and whatever. And then this one, of course, and charcoal. Well, and so it blended with the it's well done. Oil. And it's so cool looking. And my last piece of the day is also one I did at school. This one's okay Which as well. I don't think it's, it's like a, a really hard ebony. So it, it can hard really ebony. mess up the other ones. So that's why we keep it in another one, but not as seriously as the charcoal. But... Open it. Gloves. Open it. Nice, you just completely fricked Open up your mat, Breb. This is, this is probably why you almost didn't get into Booker T. Origami crane. Oh. It was kind of like... Like this. Like this. Ah, gloves! I'm trying to adjust it. Okay, expert camera work. 
but um, it was a. This is just like a hard. Ebony I don't know how I feel about this one. Colored pencil with hard ebony in the back and really hard, hard. Mmm. Nah, this one's average. Yeah. Too minimalist. It's no that's effort. The whole portfolio. I honestly Anyways. have no idea how we got into Booker T. Half of these are actually trash. All right, what a nice trip down memory lane. I actually found some keepers in those. Those are some of those are pretty good. A lot of those were kind of awful. I didn't really like the way I worded things. I just kind of was super nice to myself, not critical. I don't see the point of that. Like half of these were kind of really bad. If I were to rank them, if I can get a long shot of these, can I get a long shot? And a, a clay of piece all of them? or a chess piece, please. Piece is actually a totem and a. Okay, whatever. We'll do these. Um, the worst one is probably the figure drawing. Or a chess piece. Let's see, figure drawing. Uh, that... then the self-portrait next to it. Actually, no, no, no. The worst one is the self-portrait next to it. Then the figure drawing. Then the self-portrait just above the other self-portrait. Uh. Then it's the colored pencil right below me of the outside of the studio. Then it's the still life next to the the boat with Copic marker. Uh, next would be above it the um, uh, Copic marker self portrait, whatever. Uh, and then next is probably the, the crane and a I think a clay piece or a chess piece. Uh, actually the the cardboard one. The cardboard self portrait right there, and then the then the crane, this is actually and then the contour line or the continuous line with the ink. Those two right there on the same mat, um, and then the actually no, I'm gonna replace that with the continuous line of my kitchen, and then the other one of my of the studio, whatever that street. Once I just mentioned, then the self portraits above the three with, up, up top with all the different colors, then the uh, the first one, the first one, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, then the what's down here? Oh yeah, then the bow, then this one right here, the continuous line with the ink of the inside of the studio, then the Kobe marker boat, and then the fish. So yeah. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and comment what you guys think. And remember, stay gamer.